Here we are again. Day five of the joke mod. I'm hearing like jingly noises like there's like that's a wolf. I hear a cow. I don't see a cow. I really should take care of this meanie bobini. Let's go ahead and hit him with this first and then we'll hit him with this. Woohoo! Yeah, trust me, oh just ever so slightly. And we've definitely attracted the masses. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy skinned up. Then let's go back to the trader. I wanna return my quest. I wanna sell him some stuff. And then we need to get a game plan for today. It's day five. Ah, there's that cow. I have this quest and I was reading it last night. Buy the farm, kill a booble snoot, kill murder bacon, which I assume is a pig, danger floof. I don't know what a danger floof is. Peckerhead I think is the chicken and a bachelor deer, which I assume is just your run-of-the-mill deer that we may or may not run into. Oh, now that I got my finger gun, that reminds me of something I need to show you guys. So let me kill this cow first. I have made us some forges. So last night, what I did is I added a staircase up here because there was no way for us to get to our door on the toilet, which is in fact up here. Uh, I'm going to put a ladder, but yeah, if we would have fallen, like say the horde went awry and we fell into this hole, we would have been trapped in here with a bunch of zombies. It would not have been fun. And yeah, I made two forges, which is making me some nails. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. So we have for the day, 118 nails. So we are going to finger bang the shit out of as many zombies as we can. Hello, Joel, my fine sword wheeling friend. I'm going to grab your gravedigger mod because I don't have it, I don't think. I am going to snag another job off of you, friend, something close by. One of these well. days we'll get through tier one quest one day. But uh, this is another episode without the face cam. You guys have been very great in the comments. What is that god awful? Oh, it's a Google snoot. You guys have been so generous in the comments, very kind, very supportive of when I had the face cam and when I didn't. I'm I'm still sort of torn about it. I haven't, I don't know. I might do it, I might not. It really depends. I think my biggest issue is I'm, you know, riddled with insecurity, as we all usually are, but never talk about it. But I'll just talk about it. But um, I'll continue thinking about it, but I enjoyed it. Except for the fact that I personally found it slightly distracting because I have a habit because we stream. So we do live stream on Twitch. Uh, I'll leave a link for that in the description box below if you guys ever want to catch a live stream. But because live streaming is... Oh, look at that goose and a stripper. Because live streaming is very interactive with the audience, I've just developed a habit of looking at the camera. So... I'd almost need to not necessarily break the habit, but tone it down ever so slightly when it comes to recording. Because it was, like I said, a little bit distracting from the gameplay. Oh, God. What is it about these goose that scared the shit out of me? Come on. Get, 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 get back. Yeah, that's right. Stay with you. Oh, okay. I was looking up her skirt and felt. Whoa. <laughs> Tom. It's fancy running into you here. All right. Are we good? Are we good yet? Did I realize I was walking the wrong way? Yes. Yes, I did. Did I realize I had a bike and wasn't using it? Yes. Yes, I did. So I'm going to go grab that bike and we are going to bicycle our behind all the way to that quest. Ah, here we are to this trusty old POI. This is a very, it's becoming a familiar place to me because of just how much I've done it. Now, before we go in there, let me just kill whatever that was. I didn't read it. I'm sure it's like a, ah. Oh! Long distance boning. That was so satisfying. That's a big bone if you can reach me from all the way over here. That's all I'm saying. Um, what was I going to say? I completely lost my train of thought. So I'm just going to skin a chicken and kill some zombies. Okay, gentlemen, I'd like to take a brief pause here and shove some of Rex nuts in my face because I'm hungry and sometimes... Oh, God, look at how many there are. Are these all men? There's... Oh, getting something from behind. Oh, Lieutenant Dan. 
If it was gonna be anyone, it was gonna be Lieutenant Dan. I just noticed this, but I think this guy's skin gets bloody. Like it wasn't originally bloody. And then I started smacking him around and then his skin got bloody. Or is that, is that something that happens to all of them that I just haven't noticed very much? I'm very intrigued. Okay, we've got five points, which to me is a little bananas. I need to throw points into Sexy Rex because it's just, it's killing me. Like, like running out of stamina. Bonafide athlete getting winded doing nothing is a thing of the past. Reduce melee and tool stamina use by 15%. Yes, please. I also want a second point in finger bang because add burning damage. My finger will set you on fire, lady. And it'll be like the best experience of your life. Now we have one more point. One more. I have one in healing factor. Uh, electrocutioner? Yeah, let's, let's go electrocutioner too. Why not? I would love to make the stun baton a lot more efficient because I feel like I have to smack them for a long time. And I really noticed that in editing. So sometimes the quick cuts just go on and on. And it drives me a little bananas. Okay. Now, I'm very familiar with this POI, thankfully. And I know, yep, I knew there was going to be someone. Okay, let's just test this bloody theory. I mean, this guy looks pretty bloody. Let's see if you can get him bloodier. Nah, he looks about the same level of bloody. Maybe it's just the old spider zombie that does that. Into the house we go. Now sometimes... I could have sworn there was a, a door right here. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe it's a different house I'm thinking of. I thought there would be like a door and a laundry room down there, but I, maybe that's the burnt house. That really could be the burnt house. I'm not 100% sure. What are you two doing behind that table? Don't worry, I don't judge. I'm very open-minded. Love is love. That's all I've got to say. If you want to love a clown, that's okay by me. The world may judge you, but I love you. Now, if I remember correctly, the upstairs is where all the good loot is because downstairs, it's very lackluster. There wasn't much. Ooh, I felt like the floor was going to fall out in that. I mean, this is just a tier one POI. We really can't expect too, too much from it. Now, the next room is where all the mini bobinis are. So I might get out my finger gun. Oh, hold on. Okay, we've already got those two. Oh, we may just, we may just finger bang them. To, just to deal with them in an efficient manner. Wah! Two clowns. This is a very clown affectionate home. Ah. Oh. Look, again, you want to do two clowns at one time? I don't judge. I'm open-minded. You know, as long as you're not hurting anybody, I'm all about the love. Oh, some snop! I feel like it's been so long since we've had some snop. Am I stinky? I'm three point... What, 7%? What does a snop do? 42%? I'm going to save that. I, again, let me know in the comments, guys. Do you want me to let my stink get as high as it can go in order to see what happens? I don't mind. I'll take that leap with you guys. So just let me know in the comments if making my stink as high as it can go is something you guys want. Okay, I'm taking a little wrecked nut mouth break. <laughs> oh god, that's just so violating. Yeah, this wasn't too bad. I put some of the mods on. Um, we have, we still have quite a bit of room. Oh shoot. Oh man, I didn't realize our bike had that much stuff on it. All right, okay, so I'm gonna mark this off quickly as completed. We did finish this quest. Let's head back to the trader. I mean, right now, where I stand, there's a few horde base updates I'm going to make tomorrow. But otherwise, we're just, we're going on a big old quest-a-thon. I'd love to get past tier one quests with Joel. Uh, I have no idea who the new trader is going to be in the new biome we head to once. Ideally, we have a successful Horde night. So, oh, this place looks kind of fancy. This place kind of looks like a, excuse me, looks like an old warehouse, maybe? Is that what this is? I'm, I'm intrigued. Now, this POI has an entrance. I have absolutely no idea where it is. Like, it all just seems walled off to me. I'm gonna go in. I'm curious about it. 
I've never done this one before. It almost looks like a like a factory or maybe like a log mill. Um, it's got a bunch of logs in there. So let me just see if I can figure out a way to get in. Ah, oh, here's a good test. There's Tom. Nah, he's pretty bloody. He's always probably been bloody. I just haven't been paying attention. I know, that was awful rude of me. Uh, I assume we're gonna go in through <laughs> the car that ran over this poor soul. Um, okay. I don't know if I'm worried. I don't know what tier this POI is. But again, like I said, very curious. Oh, no. Oh, God. This is super mazy, isn't it? Am I not going to like this? I'm not going to like this one a little bit, am I? All these tight corners. Okay, so we've made it through. Oh, God. This looks like a POI I would make. Goddamn landmine right there. Woo. That is, uh, that's like my trademark is putting landmines where they shouldn't be. Okay, so we're, we're back inside. Got Mo, I think this adds on to our maze-like situation. Mr. Fun, get the fuck out of my way. You, sir. You. Go to sleep. Alright, so it's going to continue being super mazy. We've got a little bit of a breach over here, which that's, that's fine. I like this maze. I'm slightly terrified. But, you know, I've had worse situations. Oh, we're getting company in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, I'm just trying to lose these boxes. Oh, God. Tight spaces are my worst nightmare. <laughs> that's what he said. Oh, no. Alright, so here's the deal. Apparently these kids, they're very annoying. Like, they break things super easy. So let's just see if you can... Their, like, block damage is, like, super OP. Uh, which is pretty much what having an annoying kid in real life feels like. Alright, guys, it's gonna take me a minute. Oh, no, no bonings! Hold on, let me take care of the kid first. God, we don't want any witnesses. Beautiful. Anybody else? All right, let me get the rest of this crate open. I want to see what loot we have in here. Eh, nothing really exciting. I mean, we got some acid. I won't say no to that. All right, so I guess we're going the other direction. Oh, I'm hungry. You know what that means? I gotta shove more Rex nuts in my mouth. Oh, the inhumanity. Oh, look at this fancy friggin' thing. Oh my god, that like picks up the logs. Oh, not you, Spoopy. Not today, sir. Okay, this is... I, I'm liking this POI. I love how it kind of looks like... Look how jagged that is for the wheels. Oh, this looks good. I am very impressed. I don't know if I can get up here any further. But yeah, this is doing it for me. I love a good POI. A nice solid build. Now, where do I go? Do we go in the house? Or do we go in what seems to be the mill? Okay, nothing can be creepy in here, right? Something juicy? Something slobbery? See an ammo pile? Anything mean? No. Ooh, very nice. Nothing like... I, I could have sworn this was either going to be one filled with water or two filled with nasty ass zombies. Um, Alright, I think I'm just going to jump into the house first. I don't know if they're connected. I kind of explored a bit around. We have the house here, the mill. It almost looks like maybe you exit on the roof and you come down that way. But I could... Oh, God. Oh, oh, this is fine. Could be wrong. First of all, let's go into the house and inspect the madness. Oh, God. Gotta love a good boning. Ooh, some lucky goggles. I don't have those yet. Oh, very nice. And some dance monkeys. All right. Okay. So since I have two, let's go ahead and use one. <laughs> let's party. All right. I want to like sneak and see a zombie dancing. But yeah, I haven't seen one. Oh no. Is that it? Am I going to waste this dance monkey right now? We're just going to have to listen to... Whoa. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, big daddy. Ah, oh, let me just throw something at you. There you go, buddy. Woohoohoo. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I like that. All right. Okay, that was one zombie. Those are definitely better for Horde Knight, but that was still beautiful. I won't say no to that. Oh, shit. I should probably go back in there and <laughs> loot. I got a little 
overexcited and did not loot it because I was just looking for zombies. Got all my loot. I'm going to head in. Let's check out what I hope to be a little bit more of an impressive feat inside the paper mill. All right, bitches. I know you're in here. Oh, man, this place is like so cool. Oh, there they are. Um, there's a lot of cobblestone and concrete in here, too, that I might want to take a second to dig up. I even think there's some of it outside, which is just very titillating. Ooh, level five fire axe. I won't say no to that. And a level three shovel. I'll definitely say yes to that. I'm going to scrap anything plastic. Let me grab the mod right off of this bad boy. And I'm going to throw it onto this one. Now, let me see the price of the... I mean, I'm sure if I repaired it, it could give me some money. So it's $27. Fuck it, I'll waste a repair kit just to see the difference when it's repaired. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a big difference. That felt worth a repair kit to me. Let's go upstairs. I hear somebody awake up here, I think. I'm hearing something. Oh, oh God. Thought you were spoopy, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, we got a friend. Woo, neighbor. Give me a workbench schematic. Oh my God. See, sometimes all you gotta do is ask. You get it, all you have to do is ask. Okay, so now that we have the workbench schematic, I am extremely excited. I repeat, extremely excited. I see you guys. Get the fuck out of my face. Look, rage cocks. Where'd you go? Are you dead? Are you dead? Ah, beautiful. Yeah, I'm excited. You know what we're going to do today? Uh, we're going to finish up this quest. Don't you fall off. We're going to finish this quest up. Then I'm going to head home. And we're going to make a workbench, and then we're going to make a new ride. Ah, oh, beautiful timing, because I need those to make a workbench. All right, Arlene. Okay, listen, nobody's home. Beautiful. All right, so we are on the roof. Now, I'm not sure. Oh, God, there's more stuff. Oh, beautiful. So there is kind of more of a traditional end loot. And this looks to be a tier three POI. So let's clean up the mess in here. And then we'll check out what our end loot is. Oh, this is awkward, buddy. <laughs> oh, fuck, I feel bad. Let me help you out here. There you go. <laughs> nice little uh, thing you got there, sir. All right, let's check out what our end loot is. Get some peas. I'm starving. Rex nuts are clearly not doing it for me. Got some ammo. Uh, another burning shaft mod. I did put one onto my iron pickaxe. And to serve human issue five, I've already got that one. Oh, damn. Did I bring lock picks? Perfect. Okay, so we've got iron breaker mod. Awesome. Hand repair cast. Beautiful, because we're going to use that to fix our level six finger gun, which is on the way out. Another bandolier mod, basic ammo schematic. I love that you don't know how to make basic ammo. You have to learn it. Breathe like a fish. Ah, I'm just going to sell that. I don't ha I have noticed that I don't get that mod. I just don't. That's like the one thing. Like, I don't understand. Why do I need to breathe like a fish? I don't go anywhere. I don't go swimming. Pass and gas crate. We have a iron tool schematic. That's nice. And we also have running shoes and a crappy bow I'm going to scrap. Do I want to wear the running shoes? Uh, nah. I'm just going to scrap them. I mean, I could, I don't think I can put any armor mods onto the running shoes. Oh, look at this sneaky box. Holy bananas. Scrap that one. I'm going to keep the level six pick. And we're just going to go ahead and sell all those. I'm not going to say no to that. Let me take a second. I'm going to pull the mods off my level three pick and I am going to repair it because we're going to try to sell that bad boy as well. And what we can also check is when you repair it and I add, I don't know why I just took it off only to add it again, but so it's what worth 264. I can put a burning shaft mod on it right now and it's worth what? 491. Very, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and put the burning shaft mod onto this iron sledge as well, just to kind of beef that price up since I don't really I don't need a burning shaft mod on my pickaxe I mean I understand that it does help with block damage but eh, whatever one less thing to worry about all 
right, so I've pretty much gotten everything I'm going to get out of this POI. Let's head home, get ourselves a workbench cooking. Ugh, no regrets coming in here. Best idea I've had all day. That's all I have to say about that. Oh no, I just gave myself mud butt. Uh, snop doesn't fix that, does it? Damn it. All right, well, I got tissue at home. Oh, girls gotta eat, man. Rex nuts were just very unsatisfying, as per usual. Oh, man. All right, let's get home. I'm gonna unload. We'll wipe our rears, and then let's go talk to Joel. Home sweet home. Let me take the stuff off my bike so I don't forget about that again. Okay, so before I go over to Joel's, I'm first of all, I'm super encumbered. I'm gonna unload. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get the process started of the workbench before we go hang out with Joel. That way, maybe it'll be ready by the time we get back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use some toilet paper. Cures dysentery and restores health. Uh, maybe we'll just use this regular... I'm going to need, like, what? Three sheets of toilet paper in order to handle my current state of unrest. Because it says, what, 10% and I had it higher than that. Let me just take some with me. I now have some human turd. Um, nothing else to use. What does it do? Recipes. Oh, that makes the crap sack fuel. Golden turd sandwich. Pooberry pie. Oh god, I feel so. I don't know where to put this into like mechanical or food. Oh, right, I'll put it in food for now. I'm gonna have to wipe my butt again. That's just what we're gonna have to do. So under here, I have everything I'm gonna be selling. And now I found an anvil and a beaker. You put the beaker inside the forge. Bear with me. You put the anvil inside the cooking pot thing. And now I think I'm able to make glue. A lot of you guys were saying in the comments, like, oh, you can make glue, you can make glue. Um, I had no way of cooking it at the time. So that's why there was none made. All right, let's see what one needs to make a work bench. We are going to need 25 forged iron, mechanical parts. I hear a goose. I'll deal with that later. Wood, claw hammer, wrench. So I found these nice claw hammers and wrenches. I'm actually just going to go ahead and throw them in my hump and dump chest super quick so that I don't accidentally use the tools that I want to keep for my workbench. So I am going to instead use these tools. We've almost got everything we need, guys. We just need more forged iron. So we're going to need what? We need like 10 more of these damn things. We're just going to have to wait. I'm going to run over to Joel. Let's clean up this mess. Return our quest, sell them some stuff, and then by the time we get back, our forged iron should be ready to go. Hunting rifle schematic. Um, I guess I'll grab that. I don't plan on making a hunting... Oh, we're done! Oh, beautiful! Um, I don't want a bicycle. I already have one. I'm honestly... I'm just gonna grab the dukes. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to take your special job, sir. You Trader Jen. <laughs> yes, I will. I, I have no idea if Trader Jen is. She looks to be in the grass biome. So we'll go look at her tomorrow. Side note. I believe this map may or may not have the original toilet base. Now that I say Trader Jen. Because my Jen, babe, my husband, told me that he actually had put my base in and it worked but we had our signals crossed and i didn't realize so my base could be there he told me it was right next to trader gens so perhaps we will find it guys we have like 13 grand i'm just gonna sell that uh he still has the oscillator i think where was that yeah the elemental oscillator he resets on day seven it's day five i have $13,000. I have no idea if I'll have enough for this, but I'm saving my pennies. I'm doing my best. I don't want to go and sell everything, but between, I don't know, this, maybe we'll get some sugar butts. I can maybe bring that cost down. I also have a learning elixir gram or grandpa's awesome sauce. I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but that's supposed to also help with um, my issues with selling. I don't know. I'd have to check. Gotta look into it. But it's a titillating prospect. It's only day five. We've still got some time to earn some money. Okay, we should have more than enough forged iron. Oh, look at this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. We're four minutes to a workbench. I am so slobbery, mostly because we are going to make ourselves a new ride today as well. I might end up playing a little bit in the night, but we're going to make a snail mobile. That's what we're going to do, because all you need for these bad boys is a workbench. Raw meat, bone, and animal fat, all of which I think 
I have plenty of. Oh, it's nighttime. The bench is almost done. I did add on. So it's kind of like a little landing pad. Here I'm going to put some hatches. Like our, holy crap, we're getting overwhelmed hatches are going to be here. But I don't know. I feel like maybe this will work. I mean, I could kind of put it kind of like this. Have it stick out a bit just to prevent them from bottling up too much. And maybe kind of cap this off a little bit. Am I going to fall down? Probably. You know what I mean? Then we can like cap it off like this. We're going to want to obviously leave a section open for the zombies to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm flushing myself down the toilet here. Anyway, that's something I'll take a better look at tomorrow. I'm just sort of killing time. Oh, right now. There's our workbench. Let's get our snail mobile. All right. 30 seconds to our snail mobile. This is going to be great, guys. This will be beautiful. All right, guys. It's late. I'm risking a lot even just being out here. But look. <laughs> I'd be remiss not to call this thing Gary, but this is great. Look at the storage. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I look amazing. I'm like sitting inside it. It's just damn sexy. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Is it fast? Oh, you're decent. Oh, you're slimy. Look at me trailing snail all over the place. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's an alligator. Um... Gary, you think we could take on an alligator in the middle of the night? Is that a bad idea? Where's my finger gun? I got some explosive ammo. I think I could blow an alligator out of the sky as our farewell to everyone today. All right, let's find out. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> oh, that was nice. Okay, don't attack Gary. Look, slow your roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very nice. All right, guys, that's it for day five. If you liked the video, give it a big fat like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you for day six as we take a look at the little snail icon. We'll take Gary over a little stroll. We'll get some work done. All right, guys, we'll see you for day six.